Our American way of life, isn't it grand? Peace, freedom, and bacon and eggs. Seems perfect. But what if it's not? Friends, your future may not be as secure as you think. Where will you be when the atomic bombs fall? You can secure your family's future by reserving a spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault from vault -Tec. That's right, Bob. Act now, and your family can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. And Doris, the vault will have all the amenities of your modern-day home, and it's attractive. And Sally, in the vault, you might meet that special someone, just as you would on the surface. And in a few short years, you and your fellow vault dwellers will repopulate our great country. And Billy, you'll have lots of swell kids to play with. Reserve your family spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault today. Sign up now and prepare for the future. I love those dear hearts and gentle people who live in my hometown. Because those dear hearts and gentle people will never ever let you down. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd Howard, Game Director from Bethesda Game Studios. You just saw the first half of a trailer that is going to debut online in just a few hours and on Xbox Live. We think it gives you a great look at both the harshness and the humor of the world of Fallout 3. You know, we did Oblivion on the 360, we took a lot of risks and we learned a lot from doing such a massive game on the platform. We've taken all of that learning and applied it to Fallout 3. We're ecstatic to show publicly for the first time here today Fallout 3 demoed live. Let's take a look. So here's Fallout 3. The game takes place in post-apocalyptic Washington, D.C in the year 2277. You can play in first person or third person. Here I am. I've left the vault, Vault 101, where no one ever enters and no one ever leaves. Here we have an iBot broadcasting the word of the Enclave, the last remnants of the US government. On my wrist is the Pip-Boy 3000. Here you can check your stats, various things, skills you can raise, and perks. I happen to have the uh, Bloody Mess perk, which lets people uh, die in ridiculously violent ways. Uh, I also have various weapons that I can kill people in ridiculously violent ways. And I also have radios, so I can pick up broadcasts that are happening out in the wasteland like Enclave Radio. So this is a game where you can play any kind of character you want. You can play a stealthy guy, a combat guy, or use speech to persuade people. Try to be, you know, good with the ladies and all. You can also play the game combat-wise, like I'm going to. You can play in real time. Or you can press the right bumper and use VATS, the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. So you can queue up moves on various body parts, and then press A to see what happens. That, uh, that never gets old. I'm gonna switch to grenades here. This is where the content might be inappropriate for some audiences. Switch to my combat shotgun. I think it's the marching band music that nails it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the world you have to find to survive. Food, water, help you out. Oh. 
There's a turret up here that's giving me trouble. I could hack this computer and take control of the turret if I want, but I'm going to switch to my laser rifle, see if I can take it out. Again, this is a huge game with over a hundred hours of gameplay. It's a wide open world. You could walk right down to the center of Washington, D.C. and ride the elevator to the top of the Washington Monument. We have a sentry bot up here. These are robotic tanks that are patrolling the wasteland. They're pretty tough. I'm going to switch to my missile launcher. Try that with vats. Switch to a pulse grenade. This will give him an EMP blast. And again, this is a game that reacts to how you play it. You can be a good person, you can be a bad person, or anywhere in between. Perhaps you'll make friends with the Brotherhood of Steel who have turned the Pentagon up here into their own personal citadel. It's the Enclave. They've spotted me. So I, these guys are tough, so I'm gonna switch to the Fat Man, which is uh, a mini nuclear bomb catapult. Every kid wants one of these under the Christmas tree. It's gonna line these guys up. Pretty effective weapon. So that's our demo of Fallout 3. Hope you all enjoy it this fall. We do have uh, one more thing. We wanted to say how much we love Xbox Live Marketplace. We did a lot of downloadable content for Oblivion. It was hugely successful. We're happy to announce that we're going to do, be doing substantial downloadable content for Fallout 3 and it will be exclusive to the Xbox 360 and games for Windows. Thanks again.